when we're meditating. It's like arranging our house here in the present moment. We've got a house, we've got to make it a home. You want to make it a home that you want to live in, and also the one where you're really in charge. The Johns compare it to having a, having a house where there's one chair in the house. And as long as you're in the chair, in other words, you're right here in the present moment, keeping clear watch over things, okay, you're in charge. People come in, they have to stand, and you can tell them to go, you have the authority to make them go. They're not sitting down. But if you let your greed or aversion or delusion sit in the chair, then all of a sudden you become the servant in the house. Whatever they tell you to do, you have to go running after their moods. And they're not responsible at all. When you reap the rewards of the karma that you have to create under them, they're not the ones who suffer. You're the one that suffers. So you want to make sure that you're sitting here in the chair and you're here all the time. In other words, you're with the breath, you're in the present moment. You're very clear about what should and shouldn't be done, who should and should not be allowed in the house. Because it's this house that you take with you. This is the house that you live in, the house of your mind. And when you go, you have to leave the body. You, know, you have to leave your external house. What if you have left? You've just got the house that you've built inside, the home that you built inside. And you want to make sure that it's got good things in there. You don't have a lot of heavy luggage that you have to drag around. The Buddha says that the good things we've done are like a shadow. They follow us wherever we go, and there's no weight to the shadow. It doesn't create any burden at all. Whereas the bad things we've done, he said, are like a heavy cart with big wheels that erase our foot tracks. In other words, whatever kind of happiness we try to create, it gets erased by our bad, by our bad actions. So you want to make sure you have a clear idea of what kind of house you want to live in, what kind of house you want to take with you. It's kind of like a trailer that goes with you wherever you go. You want to make sure that it's light. You want to make sure it's full of good things. And that's what we can guarantee as you train the mind. So it's more under your control, so you have more of the good things that you want, because you're creating the causes for those good things. Make sure that you keep this in mind. <laughs>